When I was 26, I met the love of my life, Tim, and I knew very quickly that he was going to be my husband and that we would spend the rest of our lives together. And I was right. We moved up to Manchester. We um, started to try for a family, but sadly for us that didn't work out. But we tried IVF, and after a couple of rounds of IVF, sadly I had a miscarriage. But we didn't give up, and we decided that we would adopt. And probably a lot of you know it's a very long process. But we, after a year and a half of the process, we were told that we were going to be matched with a wonderful little baby girl called Sophie. We couldn't have been happier. We had bought her toys in her bed and looked forward to having her. But sadly, three weeks before she was due to come to live with us, I was told I had breast cancer. So we lost her. I went through treatment. I was told that it would take two years of being cancer free before I was allowed to start the adoption process again from the beginning. Um, but sadly the cancer came back quite quickly and I was told that then I was incurable, um, which was obviously devastating to my husband and I. But my husband, being my husband, wouldn't let me get down and hide under the duvet. He said, right, well, we're going to do your bucket list then, and we're going to do everything that we thought we maybe had years to do, but we're going to do it now. And we had the most amazing three years of traveling the world and doing all the things that we had wanted to do together, but had thought we were going to have a lot longer to do it in. Last November, the cancer returned again, and this time it was terminal, and the head's gone into my lungs. Sorry. Thank you. And my bones and my liver. So I knew that I didn't have long. And I don't mind telling you, I'm, I'm scared. I'm very scared. I'm not ready to die. But then who is? But the worst thing is, is knowing that my husband is going to be on his own. He's going to be a widower at 45. It's just not right. And the reason I'm telling you my story is because if we were all sitting here 10, 15 years in the future, I wouldn't be saying all these things to you. Because breast cancer wouldn't exist anymore. It just, nobody would get it. Because Genesis will find a prevention and nobody will have to go through what I'm going through, what many thousands of other women have gone through. And, and I just wanted to thank you personally for being here tonight, supporting this charity, because without fundraising events like this, Genesis, well, no, Prevent Breast Cancer, the new name, um, they wouldn't be able to do their, their research and continue their amazing work. Um, thank you for listening to me.